Vinted is a startup based out of Vilnius, Lithuania, and they specialize in the resale of clothing. So they compete with brands like eBay, Poshmark, but they've come to really dominate the sector within Europe. They've been in operation now since 2008. They've had a few different iterations of the business, initially starting for free and then trying to move to a kind of Poshmark style model. Now in their kind of latest form, they're focused on only charging buyers fees and making it free for sellers to operate. Nobody has ever sold as much secondhand items as we're doing in a country. So the secondhand transactions per capita that we're creating in markets like France, Belgium and the Netherlands is at the level that nowhere in the world has ever been achieved before. But even at that penetration level, we're still showing very, very strong growth. So it's really that we're creating that market by making this product available. Also look at the tracking of our competitors. It's not that our competitors or secondhand shops are not selling anymore. Actually, they're thriving as well. Yet we grow all on top of that at a pace that is harder and faster than everybody else. And therefore we're creating this new market by making it economically viable and super easy to uh, sell and buy secondhand clothing. So Vinted is a company that I've been tracking for a while and just have a sort of personal metric for how successful they've been just in terms of my local bodega is a pickup and drop off point for people to send in the e-commerce packages and like sort of every week I was kind of keeping track of just sort of how many vintage parcels were piling up and overtaking Amazon, eBay. But also in this time, the kind of the global resale market has really boomed. One of the American competitors for Vinted, ThreadUp is predicting that the kind of the global market for secondhand goods is going to grow to like over 350 billion in the next couple of years. This is kind of partly driven by cost of living and consumers feeling constrained in terms of their spending, but also kind of a generational shift in terms of how people want to shop and consume. People are interested in sort of sustainability and also kind of having a unique look. And Vinted has been really able to kind of capitalize on these trends and have been particularly successful within Europe. The US has been stuck on, let's say, the old classic eBay model, which is a 20% seller fee. And what we did is we said, okay, we're going to make that practically four times less expensive to 5%. And we put it on the buy side instead of the sell side, because it's the buyer who gets practically the comfort of buying online, the buyer protection, that insurance that we give. Uh, and thereby, we let them pay for it. And the seller who brings the goods to the table actually doesn't have to pay anything. I joined Vinted as a consultant in 2016. I then uh, was living in New York and moved here to help out for five weeks. And uh, that escalated into me becoming the CEO of Vinted and living here now for almost eight years. I found a lot of young, enthusiastic people really wanted to build something, but a business model that was not working. I um, had the right knowledge to make the changes into the business model and how we operate to make uh, all that enthusiasm uh, work into the right direction to make it a well-working business. We don't know how large this is going to be. The secondhand transactions per capita that we're creating in markets like France, Belgium and the Netherlands is at the level that nowhere in the world has ever been achieved before. But even at that penetration level, we're still showing very, very strong growth. So it's really that we're creating that market by making this product, product available. The more items you have available to be bought, the higher the probability that somebody will find an item that they like. If you think about the sustainability element, we do two things very well. So majority of our shipping is locker shipping from locker to locker. So you pick it up yourself. That type of shipping has 62% more CO2 efficiency than home delivery, obviously, because you don't have to drive to everybody's home. Then what we see is that one in three transactions on our platform avoids the purchase of a new item. And thereby we see that every transaction on average avoids 1.8 kilogram of CO2 uh, compared to buying uh, new items. When and whether there will be an IPO depends on many different things. As a company, we would be ready for that. But what we're trying to do is we try to ensure that we choose the best possible path long term for this company. IPO is just a way of financing the company and financially structuring it. We're just making sure now that we are investing our money in the right things to hold the right growth rates and organize ourselves in the right way to achieve our long-term goals. Therefore, I, now my title is Group CEO and not just CEO. 
And we have our CEO of Marketplace, Adam J, who runs the whole Marketplace. We have Fritautas, who runs the whole shipping division. We have Modestas, who runs the whole payments division. And by creating separate CEOs on each of these divisions, uh, we're creating a system that enables us to build an ecosystem of businesses and to build a sustainable, long-term, strong and big company in Europe. We need to compete with ecosystems that are available in the US and in China. We cannot just be a vulnerable, single vertical marketplace. We have to become an ecosystem of businesses that strengthen each other and thereby takes a position that can survive for decades instead of something that will be a fad for the next few years.